We spend a significant portion of our day wondering what other people are thinking. Whether we're on a date, in an interview, or about to sit down with a superior, we are always nervous about how the other person will perceive us. You're probably wondering how on earth you can read other people's body language. But worry not because I will show you some sneaky techniques to do so. Here are a few examples of how their body language might be giving the game away. Number 20. The Power Pose This is one that works, not just in social situations, but outside of them too. According to research conducted by Harvard University, adopting a power pose where you stand with your feet shoulder width apart and your hands on your hips stimulates testosterone and makes you feel more confident, as well as look it, is apparently what animals do to psych themselves up before a fight as well. Number 19. Shrinking A lot of the time, people will try and hide the fact that they're uncomfortable in a social situation, particularly if this discomfort is caused by shyness. However, there are a few things that signal someone is less comfortable in a social setting than they're letting on. One is if they cross their legs and hook one foot around their ankle, subconsciously making themselves smaller. A second one is if they stand cross-armed or with their drink close to their body, once again occupying as little space as possible. Number 18. The Handshake You've probably been told all your life that a strong handshake is important when making a first impression, and there is some truth to that. Studies have consistently shown that people with weak handshakes are deemed to be weak people. Rotating your wrist so that your hand is on top of the other person's is a subtle sign of dominance. The yank and pull another thing popularized by the current man in the White House is when one handshaker pulls the other one towards them. It is considered a power play. You're pulling the person closer to you. So if you invade their personal space, this might be because someone is feeling insecure or simply because they want to take control of the conversation and get you a little off balance. Number 17. Eyebrow Movement We often have no idea what we're doing with our eyebrows. Sure, some people say Spock can manipulate them with great ease, but most of us aren't aware when we raise or lower them to indicate how we're feeling, and yet eyebrows say a lot. As Dane Archer, a UC Santa Cruz psychologist points out, eyebrows are more authentic than the lower face, which we use to perform polite smiling and other things. The eyebrow flash is when someone lifts a brow when seeing someone they find attractive. This is actually to show off our eyes better. Dr. Paul Ekman has done extensive research into uncovering the meaning of facial expressions and offers these thoughts on eyebrow. If people are surprised, they'll often curve their eyebrows. Anger, on the other hand, is indicated by lower brows, while if someone is sad, they will contract the inner side of their eyebrow and raise them. It may sound rather obvious, but now you know that eyebrows are the most revealing facial feature. Number 16. Steepled Fingers How do you know that someone is interesting, intelligent, and supremely confident? Simple. All you have to do is check for steepled hands, as in when the tips of a person's fingers touch together, it's a popular one with politicians, although make sure to use it wisely. Simply throwing it in mid-conversation can be a sign that you've suddenly lost confidence in what you're saying. According to Joe Navarro, the more confident we are, the more our thumbs rise when we speak, and the more likely we are to steeple our fingers. So if you're not feeling confident, just fake it with a conscious steeple. Number 15. The Jutted Chin the jutted chin or sticking your chin out is a sign of men with a little bit more testosterone than normal. According to behavioral psychologist Dr. Peter Collett, it is a feature of people who believe they should be in charge. He claims the president often displays this sort of body language. It must be true. Number 14. Supped in lips. Occasionally, we'll see a politician or famous figure have to acknowledge their wrongdoing in these situations. It is not uncommon to find them with lips pursed or even supped in entirely. This supped in response to a tricky situation evolved according to body language expert Joe Navarro. As a result of tasting spoiled food in the ensuing centuries, this response has been adapted to help us deal with negative situations or emotions. Number 13. Showing your palms. If you really want people to remember a speech you're about to give, make sure to get your hands and even your palms out. Your palm and fingers are trust indicators. Studies have shown that the more of them you show, the more people will believe what you are saying. Similarly, if you hide your hands while speaking, people will be less inclined to believe you are speaking the truth. Number 12. Fuller Lips If you're sitting opposite someone and wondering if now is finally the time to lean in for that kiss, well, the clue is in his or her lips. According to Joe Navarro, when someone wants to be kissed, blood will flow to their lips, making them fuller. Fuller lips and mimic body language is also a sign that someone is in love with you. Number 11. Looking left or right we often assume someone looking away from us is a sign of shiftiness, that they're avoiding our gaze because they might be lying. Well, the truth is a little more complicated than that. Psychologist, world.com, suggests that when someone looks left, they are remembering something. 
While if they look right when you're talking to them, they're thinking of something more creative, probably a witty comeback or scathing remark to make things a little more confusing. If you are left-handed, the eye direction, tail can be reversed, so make sure you know what hand the person writes with before jumping to any conclusions. Number 10. Covering your mouth. Whether we're playing a game of poker or the more complicated game of life, we'd all like a surefire way to know whether the person you're talking to is lying or not. Well, there are a few tells to watch out for. One is if the person covers their mouth, this is often a sign they're telling a fib. Mouth covering is considered a fairly literal piece of body language, indicating that someone doesn't want to answer a certain question or talk about a particular subject. Similarly, if they tilt their head as they speak or stare at you intensely without blinking, they might not be telling the whole truth. Studies have shown people are less likely to blink and actually maintain eye contact with a blank expression when lying, as they're subconsciously aware that the expectation is that they will look or blink when they're not telling the truth. Number 9. Follow your gaze. If you sense a conversation about politics is on the horizon, you'll only know just what way your companion butters their bread. You can find out whether they're conservative or a liberal by what they do with their eyes. A conservative is more likely to remain looking at you while you're talking, whereas a liberal will follow your gaze. The study was conducted by the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, with the researchers suggesting that conservatives place more value on personal anatomy, making them less likely to be influenced by the wandering gaze of others. On the other hand, the research suggested liberals are more likely to be responsive to others and thus follow their friends' sightline. Number 8. Blinking. Another example of how to tell if someone is really attracted to you is once again, focused on their eyes. In this case though, it's to do with blinking. The average person blink between 6 to 10 times a minute. According to body language, expert Blake Eastman, when someone is emotionally excited, they blink more. Thus, if someone is blinking significantly more than usual in your presence, then they're probably into you. Number 7. Hidden hands. Insecure people will often do what they can to hide the fact that they might be a little bit insecure. Of course, like with everything else, their bodies will give them away. People who are insecure will sometimes tighten their fingers, hide their thumbs, or hide their hands altogether. While people who are much more sure of themselves will spread their fingers wide apart and put their hands on display. This is because our brains are hardwired to use our hands to accurately communicate how we're feeling. People gesticulate when angry or rub their hands together when irritated. And so when feeling insecure, we often try and hide our hands completely. There is little research into what having tiny hands does to a person. But rumor has it though, the president knows. Number 6 baby cradling. Whether you're aware of it or not, most of us will cradle a baby in our right arm. So when you notice someone is holding a baby with their left arm, it might mean something is wrong. According to research by Durham University, women who cradled their babies in their left arm were much more likely to be suffering from increased stress levels or depression. Number 5. Feet. Most of us are aware that our body language can give us away, so we will do what we can to hide how we're feeling. However, there is one part of our body we often ignore, and that's our feet. According to Professor Jeff Beadle, one of Britain's leading psychologists, if a woman moves her feet from her body while giggling, she is probably attracted to you. If her legs are crossed or tucked under her body, then it's probably a little less positive. Oddly, these rules don't seem to apply to men. Number 4. Fidgeting there might be some obvious ways to tell how rich someone is such as how expensive their watch is or how much of a suit they're wearing. If these signs aren't there, then you can look for other things. According to psychologists Michael W. Cross and Docker Keltner at the University of California, rich people are more likely to fidget or diddle during conversations, while poor people will retain laser-like focus on what you are saying. The psychologists theorize that people with wealthier backgrounds are less dependent on others and thus less likely to pay attention to normal social behaviors like maintaining eye contact and laughing at the appropriate places in conversations. Number 3. Dilating Pupils If you're with an introvert who just plain refuses to express how they're feeling, then take a look at their eyes. When someone is excited or happy, their pupils will often dilate. This is probably where the term bedroom eyes comes from. On the other hand, when they are angry, a person's pupils will become smaller. Eckhart Hess, the former head of the Department of Psychology at the University of Chicago and pioneer in pupilometry, conducted numerous tests to find out how pupils' pupils reacted when shown things such as pictures of pinups, pleasant food, and listening to music, as well as pictures of war victims and disabled children to back up his dilatory findings. According to his work in other studies, the dilation of our pupils can be automatically decoded by other people to recognize when a person might be scared, angry, or just plain aroused. Number 2. Leg Spreading One of the more annoying aspects of commuting to work 
is sitting beside a male leg spreader. Just what are they trying to approve by taking up all that space? Tanya Vacharkolksemsuk, UC Berkeley postdoctorate researcher, suggests man spreading is a sign of dominance or sexual attractiveness. Suggesting that leg spreading is deemed to be more attractive if a man does it. In fact, according to her findings, men who adopted expansive poses on dates tended to appear more attractive to their potential mate than those who didn't. The same did not hold true for women, though suggested they might be more willing to share their resources or wealth, thereby confirming that women are indeed gold diggers, if only subconsciously. Number 1. Mirroring the other person Have you ever noticed someone copying your body language? For instance, when you cross your legs, they cross their legs. When you fold your arms, they fold their arms. Don't worry, they're not consciously mocking you, but subconsciously letting you know that they think you're getting along wonderfully. Numerous studies conducted by prominent institutions, such as Yale and Emory University, suggest we mirror the body language of people we think we bonded with. It is generally a subconscious act, often unnoticed by both parties, and can begin as early as infancy as babies learn by mimicking those around them as a way to encourage a sense of empathy and understand the other person's emotions. By now, you should essentially be able to read minds. Use this gift wisely and remember to let us know what nonverbal information you've managed to glean in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe to Dorian Crane for more amazing videos. Clicking that bell icon to never miss a new video. Thanks for watching.